Rogue Legacy 2. It was uh, out a couple years ago, but not really, and now it's uh, really out, and now I'm I'm playing it. That's right, I'm playing the uh, the released out of early access 1.0 version of Rogue Throw Legacy 2. There we go, thank you, Nick. And uh, let's just hop in. I, I've done a bunch of runs. I've beaten the first boss, uh, unlocking a lot of stuff right now. So, but I'm still very early on in the overall game. So let's go on over here. Probably will need to move ahead here. Uh, because I'm probably covering something. Let me know if the sound is good in terms of my voice versus the audio. Look at this. Oh, boy. Yeah, you can already tell there's a lot going on here. So these are the upgrades I've gotten. I have could use more Dan less game. Well, I always have myself cranked all the way, so let's bring the game down a little bit. Okay. So, I think I spent all my money before last time. Yeah, I have 671 gold. Don't know if I can buy anything right now, but that's what we're going to do here Good is we're going to make some gold and buy some stuff. Baderate, thank you so much. Eight months of subscribing. All right. Uh, this is the guy here where you can get your equipment all up. I'm currently going for a scholar build, which you can see on the right, my scholar unity shows that like, okay, if I get my unity to a certain point, I get uh, kind of this bonus here. So I have bonus focus right now. Uh, so I'll leave it at that. Oh, what is it? That guy's like a vampire. I don't think I've seen that yet. Uh, I think I've bought most of these things. Well, there's maximum rune weight, which I'm at. I'm at 120 out of 120 right now, so I can't add this. Weapon crit damage, I can buy that. Well, I can't afford any of these actually. They're 800, so I'm getting more gold. Uh, I got the old ratchet and clank thing that sucks things in from further. Uh, I deal damage to enemies that hit me. And I get bonus resolve. Resolve is a whole system here I'll go into at some point. But uh, let me see what my... Oh, wait. I think I just unlocked some shit. First of all, my dude. Let's see what we got here. I'm a Valkyrie. Valkyries are fun. Uh, fungal spread is my spell. Vampirism. 20% of my weapon damage is health, but I take 125% more damage. And mana cost and spell damage increased. Oh, so the cost and the damage increased. Okay, so that's interesting. We'll see how this goes. Okay. And I didn't really keep up with the early access stuff. I played it when it first came out two years ago. So I don't really know what of this is all uh, is new and what's not. This is cool here. If I talk to this uh, uh, Tekken character here. Center Center, thank you so much. Uh, you can see there's a mastery level for each class. And if you get to a certain level, like let's say my Dragon Lancer's level two, that means I get this two percent armor bonus for everything. So all that is kind of across the board, no matter what your uh, your class is. Yes, uh, Age Guyer says, "Did I ever beat Nobody Saves the World?" Yes, I did. It is great. Oh yeah, I just met this person, uh, Maria the Pizza Girl. Okay, uh, I don't, don't know her deal yet. Let's see. Dogs, happy everything. Big Blue, thank you so much. Next time you go back to the kingdom, we should share a boat. Okay. I don't. I honestly don't know what that is. And I've never been in this building before. Here's the caretaker. Sharon is the boat dude. Okay. This is the Lost Island. Oh, what is this shit? S stars, scars of Erebus. Oh, are these like leaderboard challenges? I did, okay. I have no idea what this is. It's an astral plane. Right by the end of uh, Elden Ring, I've been slowly doing all the stuff uh, that I, I, I'm trying to, as close to 100% as I can with that game. I think I'm running out of side stuff, so I'm pretty close to the end now. An event can occur, psychological trauma creates a scar across the lands. They'll poison the minds of future generations. Okay. Uh, the Valkyrie can go up, down, left, right with the attacks, and also defeat things. Red memories are called scars. Oh, I've seen those. Okay. 
All right, so I'm gonna unlock these like challenge things. Is it Garrison? Is it just an intro to this concept? I think this uh, this game would be a good. This is the one contender. Uh, it looks like my head's actually not blocking any uh, HUD stuff. I'd say it looks a lot sharper than the first game. I went back and, and looked at some stuff uh, of the first game, and oh boy, this this looks a lot better. Um, so there's a lot of this jump kick thing here. You can do LB to jump kick, or you can hit down and right. But there is some heavy platforming stuff you got to do. So I actually um, I made both of these left side paddles on the elite uh, that, so I'm just going to do that there. So that, I found that pretty helpful. Gravity Rod, thank you. Empathies, okay. Got your air dash, of course. Still not entirely clear what this is. What this unlocks or does or. Okay, so S plus plus. Oh yeah. Okay. Bonus. I will go back to that at another time. I figure I should show the actual base game at a point here. So let me just finish talking to these people. The Soul Shop. Trade in souls. Okay. Okay, these pearl things I've gotten. Okay, so I, I have a hundred. Higher level equipment can now be found if I get this. Well, yeah. Okay, and then that one, higher level runes can be found. Yeah, let's do that. Oh. So this is raising the max level for a bunch of the stuff that you buy with gold on that screen we saw earlier. All right, that's totally new. Uh, I described this on the Fire Escape cast as uh, more and better of what the first game was. And that is certainly what I've been feeling. Because uh, it, it is... Well, it's funny because this stuff is, seems totally new. And so I, I didn't touch on this on the Fire Escape cast yet. Um, and I was just kind of describing the base game as more and better. I would like for her to Let's see if she does. This guy is just the architect guy that will like rearrange the castle if you wanted to. That's the safe where uh, I'll give a percentage of my coins to. So... Right now, he takes a pretty hefty percentage. All right, so the pizza girl's coming with me. We'll see what this is. Hello, Carson. Okay. So there's... So can I get that? Is that a scar? Can I pick that up? Okay, whatever. I also put the RB on the right side paddles there. So I'm using the paddles. Bit. So my understanding is to go into this important door here. I need to defeat all these estuaries. And I defeated this guy here. So maybe we'll see him. I doubt I'll get to the second one yet, because I am just now at the point where I can start doing kind of like the second area. There are a lot of areas that seem gated by certain things, like uh, you know, like certain boots and things that I don't have yet. So in fact, you can see um, it's got this really good glossary of like, you know, if a weapon or something says, oh, it it adds combo, you can just easily look up here and be like, oh, that's what combo does. So I think all the time in early access really helped it. Uh, just this all feels pretty fully featured at this point. Oh, wow. Carson says I just beat the sixth estuary after struggling all day on it. Wow. OK. Uh, PS4 says this seems like a good Steam Deck game. Question mark. Take that question mark off. It is an excellent Steam Deck game. I've probably played more of this on Steam Deck than I have on the actual PC. And, man, the Steam Deck with the, the cloud uploading and, and stuff, like that, it's pretty seamless. It's been excellent. Excellent. Uh, all right. So my insights. Okay, so I have Air Dash. It's the last one I got. This is my gear. So I can dash in the air. Okay, spin kick. Yes. Okay. 
A lot of hidden walls and doors and stuff like that. And uh, if you haven't played the first one, basically every time you go into the castle, it procedurally kind of like all these modular rooms and stuff get swapped around and you wind up with a different uh, form of what you played before unless you went to the architect and paid to keep it the same. Okay, so this here is a fairy chest. So to get the fairy chest, which might have runes or something in it, to defeat all the enemies and lose no health. I usually do pretty poorly at these. All right, got a bunch of that. That's great for uh, Tokota. Thank you so much for the raid. Uh, I usually, I think that stuff is mainly for like buying runes, like upgrading runes. What day is this officially out? I want to say the 28th. That's not right, folks. Uh, I'm not breaking embargo. Permission to stream this. There are a lot more classes, a lot more weapons. I really like this boxer class. Hopefully I can show you that at some point here. That one's been great. Oh, was that, that was Mark that uh, Mark rated. Okay. Thanks, Mark. These are kind of these challenge rooms here. I think this is mainly for riches. And you can, like, spend kick off of uh, enemies. There's a crazy, like, dancer class that will, uh, it's kind of all based around, like, comboing these uh, jump kick things. It's kind of fascinating. A lot of different play styles. Oh! Whoa, okay. I thought that was me. Taking some damage here. And this will probably be just a bunch of riches here. Empathic connection has been improved. The max handicap for the scar challenge has been raised. Boy, that is all, uh, that is all some new shit for me. Sorry, Mitch. Yes, Mitch. Yeah, the, uh, that little jump is, is a really nice addition. And that is not you know, based on any particular class or anything like that. That is across the board, you get that. And uh, really, it's nice to be able to bounce off the environment and enemies and stuff like that. It's one of my favorite additions to this one. Yeah, the Valkyrie's really nice. It has some power and, and being able to go up and down and stuff like that is great. Uh, some of the the Y abilities, the talents, are um, gated by the number of enemies you kill. Like, see, I need to kill four more to use the Y ability. Uh, some of them are just timed. Adon says this is on Game Pass, right? Um, I'm not sure about that. I'm playing uh, the Steam version. I don't know this, but I have to assume it would run pretty well on everything. It doesn't seem to be particularly demanding. Steam Deck runs A plus, so. Not announced for Game Pass, okay. More has it on Epic. Expand on the goofy character traits, absolutely. Yeah, we'll, uh,. We'll take a look at them when I get to choose my character next time. We'll uh, take a look at all the different options for sure. Okay, so these are these relics that I can choose. To so, top left, you see I got that 161%. That's my resolve. So if I drop below 100%, and uh, that can be lowered by, if, I, if you wear a lot of heavy equipment, it'll lower your resolve. Uh, here, if I take one of these, like that's going to take 108 resolve. So that's going to put me below 100, which is going to uh, cause my maximum HP to go down significantly. So 34 resolve. I could take this one. Every point of resolve below 100, deal an additional magic damage. 
I mean, I guess... Well, I'm not below... Bonus man. I kind of don't want either of those. No. I'll pass on that. Decent amount of platforming required, as was the case in the first one. Uh, some weapons you can aim, like if I wanted to, I could have aimed that uh, poison burst. By the way, well, should I announce it now? or well, It doesn't have to be a big uh, specific announcement yet, but I'll say... Kayla just booked another flight out here uh, for the summer. We'll announce dates and plans for the uh, the stream, uh, you know, when we're closer. But uh, she specifically told me she wants to do another Kongathon. So season two, Donkey Kong Country TV show this summer. That's the plan. Potentially every episode, Banana Slam. I mean, it's less episodes, so we might have to have backup stuff planned for the comic All right, so let's go up right. You can also bounce off of those things. So this is the boss door here. Oh, okay. So you don't go back in, I guess. So I, that's the first boss. He's dead. All right, get all that. Okay, so I can warp from all the boss rooms. Uh, let's just go up and right this way. Yeah, so uh, I've done a lot of bounce rounds lately on Fridays, but uh, with the Switch Sports coming out this Friday, I think I might, uh, I might just focus in on that. I don't know how many sports are in it, but I'll want to play everything. And I'll save it for uh, the stream. I'll do uh, my first time on Fridays. So you see that red door, that means uh, if I go to the right, They say biome if it's all like indoor castle type stuff. Does biome have to be outside. Can it be interiors? I love saying biome these days. I think it was with the uh, return. I really started getting a lot of that. I mean, I said it too. It's not it's fun to say. Betting for sports? Oh, yeah, we can maybe talk about that. Yeah, I can aim this here. If you use analog. See, I usually D-pad for this game, but if you use an an uh, analog, you can uh, do a specific. Mm -hmm. These. I made a mistake. Destroying those several times. Don't want to do that. Destroy that. Also, I forget. I think it's a rune I have. Yeah, it's the rune that gives me uh, that plus 10% treasure that I've got. You see on the left. Decent amount of change this time. and floors. All right, so this is going to be a new area here. Therapeutic port. Ha. Uh, okay, so this place, it says I need these Aether's wings. Oh, what is this? I 
unlock the portals permanently? I don't quite understand. But it's for all future runs. So that seems important. Okay, so now I think, can I just go straight to this biome on future runs? That's pretty fucking cool. Um, thank you for you felt like you weren't going to die often. Um, I mean, uh, you're, you die every time in this. I'm not dying like right away, but I'm dying often. Well, that's pretty cool. You can just go straight to the biome then. Although I probably shouldn't have spent that money on a biome that I'm not ready for yet. But hey, money's just money. play Celeste? Yeah! I didn't love Celeste as much as most people did. Oh yeah, the house rules thing. That's right. Uh, yeah, Killer Kid brought that up. It's house rules you can turn on, so you can enable house rules and I've just, I have actually haven't fucked with this at all, but look at all the stuff you can change. Fly talk, you can literally just fly. You can change enemy health, disable enemy contact damage, disable traits, I don't know what that is. Uh, yeah, so that, that's pretty cool you can do. Problem with Celeste is how much it was just a DDR press these buttons in this order game. Maybe that's why I wasn't hot on it. It's because I, I know exactly what you're talking about. Damn it, 17 for that one. Um... Yeah, it, it does feel like you're just like, okay, I have to jump here, I have to dash here, I have to like stick to the wall here. It wasn't like a lot of freedom. And I guess, I you look, I can respect Celeste and Me Boy in those type of games, but ultimately, it's not exactly my type of platformer. Who did that? I mean, they're good games. I enjoy Celeste. I enjoy Meat Boy, but not to the degree of like a Mario, you know, in terms of just, just talking platforms. Okay, so I'm able to go here now. This is a new area for me because uh, these like resonant uh, things here, these are new that I can do this. So they will recharge your dash if you hit them, which will enable you to go a lot farther. that. Good choice. Jimmy, thank you so much for the sub. 1.0 is coming out uh, Thursday. I saw someone ask that, Professor. Um, although that is what I'm playing now. So for those who have been keeping up with the, oh boy, not day to day, but the update to update, uh, what are the big updates that maybe I'm seeing right now in 1.0 that you have not seen yet. Okay, I could use that. Because I do the scholar stuff. We're into the swampy dead cells area. I can see it. Can I destroy this? Nope. Oh, wait, there's an RB. Oh, jeez. Okay, you can just turn it off. That's cool. Don't think they've announced all that's new with the final boss in the area. Okay, so that temporarily turns off. Yeah, see, so I have not been to that final area yet. So maybe you're not. If you followed all the development and everything, maybe you're not seeing anything new here, but. This is uh, from the perspective of someone who has not seen it since the early access launch. Lob, 
Wait, is that a fish for that picture? jump. Wait, is this a door? Okay, the door. There we go. Ooh, okay. So, this explains here, these curio shops. If you uh, switch weapons, you get a blessing of strength, bonus weapon damage. Switch spells, you get bonus magic damage. Switch talents to get bonus resolve. Resolve is that percentage I got up there. So... Tetsu, blessing of talent, hold to aim, teleport a set distance, hitting everything in between. Okay, I think this is a Ronin talent. It's pretty cool. Okay, so yeah, I can aim and just dash through stuff. And that's on a timer instead of like kill X many enemies. That's cool. Yeah, great. Great for uh, podcasts or, or watching stuff in the background. It's definitely one of those. I mean, there's stuff you can read, and you know, there is some lore and stuff. But I think you're going to be fine if you're watching or listening to something else. There's that blobfish. Yeah, I had to go back. It's been so long since I played one, and I played through one like three times. I remember. Um, I, I was trying to remember like how the art style has changed, and it's actually way more uh, severe than than I expected. Uh, it's this looks a lot better than the first one. So yeah, like you can see here, this is just like long straight area here. Kind of reminds me of, of a more colorful Hollow Knight. Uh, yes, also a, uh, a a good game. It's another way it's uh, different than Hollow Knight. Pizza store. yet, but I could create a warp straight to this thing I'm super not ready for. Boris, thank you so much. I would love to warp to the beginning of that biome. Yes. And then buy the thing and then warp back here. How about that? Thanks everyone for the prime subs and everything. Much, much appreciated. Okay, so Good I will choice. give you that. Thorn with the prime subscription. Thank you so much. Alright, so that's permanent. That's great. Take a look at that on the next run. Thank you, Pizza Girl. I'm not even going to fuck with that place yet. It seems beyond my ability. Resolve skill crits have an extra 20% chance of becoming super crits. 24 resolve defeats six enemies to load the die and instantly defeat the next enemy. 
You know, I have a lot of resolve. Let's do that. And then can I even get that one too? Oh shit, one or the other. Okay. Good Got choice. It. Salt on stall. Thank you for the sub. Choice. 50. Thank you so much. Fun thing where I woke up uh, this morning. It's a very old guy thing. Oh, I don't have that anymore. Um, where just my neck just tweaked or something uh, in the middle of the night. So today I'm just turning like Michael Keaton Batman. Great stuff. That'd be like four days worth. Play through the first of the Super Nintendo controller? That's pretty cool. And that happens to you sometimes, yeah. Yeah! I'm trying to do uh, yoga every morning to help out with that stuff. It's, uh, stay on it. Nothing's going to shoot stuff. Oh, that's bad. Yep, that guy was going to kill me. Always love this screen. Seeing everywhere you went, seeing how much money you made. Memory foam mattress topper. The knees, yeah, I get the knees stuff. Shows all the places you killed enemies. I like that. The visual representation of all the enemies you killed is awesome. Jesus. There you have it. That's a lot there. Well, I got a little bit of money but I want to take a look at that warp we have now. Okay, classes. Here we go, so I can do Lady Ashley here. She's a gunslinger, which you have limited ammo, you reload. It's not limited, but like you have to reload it. You know what I mean? Um, explosives, objects break on touch. Okay, so that's kind of a front runner for me right now. The gunslinger I've only been once, and that was pretty cool. It's a chef, so you can just create a stew, you get a stew going. And uh, that'll restore health and mana. And as you get health drops, it restores your charges of that, which is pretty cool. Pulse uh, Porter. All relics are twin relics. I don't really like the frying pan weapon that much. You can reflect, uh, Good reflect choice. projectiles. Eli, thank you so much. And of course, you got the knight. Um, Puritan. Gold plus 28%. So I don't know what that trait does yet. I'm going to be the gunslinger. Let's try this out. I don't have a lot of. Uh, experience with this one, but let's give it a shot. Alright, so it's got the handy little dollar marks on the stuff you can actually afford. But there's affordable items by the docks, so let's look here first. Advanced blueprints. Upgrade existing gear. Man. So I could upgrade... Good choice. How much does that cost? Cost? Wait. You do that? Oh, okay. So I have enough to upgrade. Huh. Hollow Knight sucks. Has a uh, has has a sub now. That's great. Oh, but that's gonna be heavy if I switch to it. Oh wait, no. I'm chunky now. Already, I'm already chunky. I got plus fifty percent resolve. Uh, you can get up to like a plus a hundred percent if you're not chunky. Like if I took this down, I got plus seventy five percent. Um, shit, I would almost rather put on the Scholar's Token. Yeah, I would rather do this. And get that Scholar Unity up. Yeah, okay. So now I got a bunch of Scholar's gear on. Actually, all five. And you see, you can turn off uh, class-specific gear loadouts. You can turn that on. 
And that way I can have it like, oh, if I'm ever the gunslinger, I have this loadout. If I'm ever the knight, I have this loadout. So pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go with all scholar stuff. Spent pretty much all my money, so let's just fucking go. How about that? Here's the uh, dynamite. Kind of operates Bomberman style there. Pretty good with the uh, internet working now, huh? The fiber. Everything's just a-okay now. Oh, uh, Hollow Knight Forever ooh, 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 uh, also has uh, a sub now. So... RB, here's War Style, is the, the reload. So I've got 22 shots in there. 22 shots in there, yeah, yeah. Uh, but you know, this comes out in two days on Steam. Probably ever. I like how when you shoot, you stay in the air. I'm really hoping the uh, boxer boxers available next time. I can see myself dying quickly on this run, so just because I'm not used to a uh, gunslinger. Now you see these cracks here. That usually means that... Yep. There you go. That's right, Baltimore. Another thing where you might want to use the analog for a little more fine-tuning on your shots. This is pretty good. Wait! So could I warp? Let me go back to the very first screen and see if I can just warp from there. That'd be crazy. No... shit. That's pretty cool. So if you just want to make progress, probably good to move forward, like just warp. But if you're looking to collect a bunch of resources, maybe you could go everywhere. Interesting. I'd love to see the boss in this area. Probably won't. Mm, yeah. Parts of this gunslinger feel cool, but having to reload in the range situation. Um, Ticklewood says, can you shoot less? Yeah, you can kind of tap it. I'm holding it. Oh, jeez. Okay. Jesus. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm clumsy, so everything I uh, touch, it breaks immediately. You can also, there's like this air recovery you can do, so if you get hit, you can kind of jump out of it. Feels like an upgrade you would buy in Devil May Cry or something. Uh, yeah, I see some people asking about the Steam Deck. Uh, yeah, I was saying earlier, it's uh, incredible on Steam Deck. It is a type of game just no complaints on Steam Deck. Plays great on there. No performance issues whatsoever. Relics in here. Oh, fair. Okay, lose no health. Ten seconds, don't lose health. Oh. 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 Fuck that. I didn't realize I couldn't walk out of the room. Didn't mean to. aim locking on. Um, I'm, I've been trying to aim it specifically. I don't know if there's any auto aim going on. I, I mean, I'm pointing at them. Pretty sure you have to. Carson says no auto in. Carson, you uh, reviewing it? You are. 
Well, give us the scoop. What's the Game Informer review? Rogue Legacy. You heard it here first, folks. Here it comes from John Carson. He's typing it out. It's a big number. Under embargo. Unprofessional. I have not come anywhere near the end of this game, and I believe I probably technically cannot say. <laughs> Even if I had beaten it, I probably couldn't give a like review score at this point. It isn't. I saw that too, Baltimore. I saw that too. Kid is at like 25 hours and has beaten four bosses. Okay. says, how long was I a GI? About five years. Almost exactly five years, I want to say. 09 to 14. Jesus. Me too, Jimmy. Dash is always a good thing. New fairy thing. No, relics. Okay. Uh, ah, so this thing, this is always free, so I can either get all this health back, or I can hurt myself for 90 and increase my max HP. You can always get your health back, but I'm not in a spot where that's smart for me to do. I always liked Rogue Legacy because it really does feel like every time you die, you are getting incrementally stronger. You know, like you know, a lot of roguelikes do, obviously. But uh, I really think Rogue Legacy was the first one I really got into. And them adding all this different stuff here, like that Scar system is totally new now. I, I, I want to spend some time with that. Like, I, I have a feeling it's going to keep adding stuff for a while here. I was not at EGM, really. No, I grew up reading it. EGM and Game Informer were the two big ones growing up. Reading. Oh, was there? All these. Okay. Tips and tricks. Hell yeah. Next gen, of course. Magma Mass instead of the poison. I'll take it. Ultimate Gamer. I had Ultra Game Players. I don't know if I had Ultimate Gamer. Okay, so now I got these Magma Balls. Well, good thing they all hit the fucking street. One more run after this. Let's see what class we get access to. Got money. Yeah, Hassan. That's 
good one. Squared says, is this the run? I don't think so, and I don't ever want to say this is the run. Or I'm sorry, this is the one uh, when it's not the one. It has to actually be the one. Otherwise, that'd be false advertising. Uh, Enchanted, this is the release version. from the Video Game uh, History Foundation? No, uh, I have not gotten Nintendo Power yet. I'm sure it's eligible for that. Yeah, the platforming I think feels a lot better in this just overall. And the action. And the variety. And the visuals. It's kind of what you want from a sequel, right? Okay, so this is I've never been this far. Into the boss. Oh shit. Looks like a boss door to me. Yes, indeed. This is okay. So that probably opens up a new area. All right, gonna fight this boss. It's going to kill me, and then I will do one more run, and then I'll call it a night. Let's see how this goes. I also have an upgrade where I get mana and health when I uh, enter a boss door. Platforming heavy boss. <laughs> 
Void Beast Barth. Okay, wow. Yikes. Dip thing doodle. Let's do one more run. Oh, geez. Sir Pepperoni, the Astromancer. Fuck, that sounds cool. Um, he's a giant Astromancer named Sir Pepperoni. You get plus 28% gold since I have gigantism. Tesla spike. I don't like the black hole thing. I'll try it though. The duelist is fun. Let's let's go with the giant astromancer named Sir Pepperoni. All right, we're gonna try it. Well, I can buy stuff at the docks. So this is a black hole. Like one at a time. It's kind of nuts. All right. Well, let's get this warden helm. Add some weight. Add some vitality. Do the upgrade for the leather weapon. So that'll actually. It's still one below what I have with the scholar weapon. So I'm not going to fuck with that. Let's see, ruined stuff. Diamonds? No. All right, let's just spend money on permanent upgrades then. Um. Wow. Much for that. I like uh, getting the first one in any of these because that kind of expands the tower. So, spin damage cost. Okay. This one would actually expand it out, although so would this one. Reroll your errors. Not a bad idea. Reroll errors or reroll relics and curios found in the kingdom. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay. Oh, so once I purchase Master Smith, then I can get to these far ones here. Okay. Cool. I love how in the background you can see the actual uh, the castle. You know, it's mirrored. Pro blah, blah, blah. Progress. Let's uh, have an ill-fated run with Sir Pepperoni here. We call it. Believe so, Ka. Just make sure there's nothing about this astromancer I forget. Grand Vision, plus 20% intelligence. All damage dealt generates mana. Black hole, one black hole at a time. Skill crits enemies close to the center. Comet form. Oh, right! The comet thing. So you can just... This shit. You can just fly around. I forgot about that. That's pretty cool. That's just on a cooldown, so if I want to, I can just... That's Sir Pepperoni. Oh, fuck. Let's warp. Monday. I wonder if there's any way you could break stuff by, like, doing something that would give you infinite, like, you know, like a really good cooldown or something. And if you just fly damn near forever. <laughs> Big Dump Fart says, Sir Pepperoni is not long for this world. Oh, yeah! Let's see how much we can just fucking 
Mario 3 Raccoon Tail fly through these levels. not spend a lot of time with these astromancers. Dog Yoshi, it's definitely added a ton. Ooh, right there. That's pretty cool. Ha! Oh, Jesus. See ya! Is there a way? I, I know it's, I'm attacking to go through every one of these things. Oh yeah, I get like a Tesla thing. I think when I hit the wall, it's more dangerous. Oh yeah, I'm giant. Probably not. Great for that. Let me see the Tesla. Yeah, it does that when it hits a wall. I think irritable bowel uh, syndrome is in this one. There's one that's like synesthesia or whatever, where uh, you leave these uh, trails of color everywhere you go. It's pretty cool. Enemies do too. I'm trying to think of this. You know, the black hole thing is probably pretty good for those bosses. Bosses that are just huge. Is there a better way through doors than to attack? I mean, this thing takes a lot of wind up. So I can just leave that there and just fuck him up? That's incredible. Eat this! Doing, folks. Oh boy! Give me them. Still alive. Okay. All right, that feels pretty good. Chest? No. I want to just put down the black hole and then just stay away from uh, the bosses. Can I fit in there? Hell yeah. Lucky roller rune. Weigh your dice. Skill crits have a bonus chance of becoming super crits. I think we established it doesn't really give you anything once you've already been there. Yeah, it could always be helpful. Can you RB doors to open them? I was trying that, I thought. Let's see. RB, no. Can you do the LB? You do the kickflip. Suck up projectiles? Can you shoot an arrow through here? Okay, same effect.
hit by that so I didn't jump. Get that charge and then take off from here. Rubble. Poggers indeed. Hello, Sandy. Let's give myself a fighting chance. Now that we've unlocked this, let's try to find some health in the easy spot before we go after the boss. Let's start getting hit. Okay, or well, let's just go back to the easy spot and die. Sandy, thank you so much. Oh my god, this is dumb. Sir Pepperoni. Concoction for soldiers who shall not return? Oh, I can reroll though. An honorable death. Let's reroll. Your weapon applies combo. Oh. Defeated the enemies have an 8% chance of dropping a health drop. But combo, 
I think that would create combo for every hit of the pop, 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 pop. So let's see. It's usually with a boxer. So combo every stack increases damage by 2%. At 15 plus stacks, all weapon attacks are skill crits. So do I get the boxing bell, which might make it so my black hole fucks things up? Or do I get the health drop? The health drop isn't going to help me once I get to the boss. This potentially could. Hmm. Yeah. For science. So, yeah, I think the more this hits something... Oh, Jesus. The more... Ch fuck him up. Let's see. It's doing... Oh, that first hit really... That's a lot. Okay. We're not going to really know until we get to a cover. Uh -oh. yeah. Okay. And health back up. Okay. Almost ready to go back to the boss. It's good to know that about that initial burst. Oh, yeah! It did it! Oh, it's doing 10 now. Oh, it's doing 11 now. It transfers from... Oh, fuck. Oh, that's dangerous as hell. Oh, my. Oh, yeah, and then I'll get the boss from heal, too. Oh, God. Oh, no, no, no. Not like this. Oh, what the fuck? Disappearing faster because of gigantism. get too greedy here. I want to get max health. I really think that this black hole could really fuck him up. Maybe we just go now. I don't, I don't want to get too greedy. Oh, that be man. All right, here we go. A little boost here. I got the Tesla thing. I got the flying thing. And most importantly, the black hole. Okay. Okay. This is only my second time fighting this thing, so I don't actually think I'm going to beat him, but I'm curious to try out the boxing belt here. <laughs> this is so big. I'm sure it's going to hit him a bunch. Six. Oh, it does disappear after eight. Twelve. Oh, that one was almost dead. Oh, fuck. Well, that was cool. Oh, that's cool seeing how those different things can play off each other with those relics and stuff. That was fun. Shit. All right. I like that. This game is cool, if you can't tell. Uh, 
like I said, great Steam Deck game. Great to uh, to play while you're listening to podcasts or watching something. Big, big fan of it. Uh, I will be playing this for quite a while. I will be beating this game for sure. Uh, check it out if you're interested. That. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That is Rogue Legacy 2.